An Ottawa County artist is looking for a new home for his paintings containing short snippets of poetry after he was warned to stop posting them in Holland. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter Noel Fromson takes us inside the project and explains why the artist had to take down his work. Some trees here in the area near Hope College used to be adorned with small paintings created by a local artist here in Holland. It was a personal project of his. Now, a few years later, they're all gone after he was told to take them down. They take around an hour to finish. An accent came out there. <laughs> Maybe less the if he weren't talking. It's kind of a lot of trial and error. Scribbling skylines and dotting flowers. The cocktail of oil pastels make up Stephen Pankovich's landscape. I still haven't figured out a way that I like doing trees yet, so I've been experimenting with those a lot. Topped off. A poet, Jory Graham, with lines. Desire is the honest work of the body. From his it's favorite engine, lyricist. A friend of mine had this kind of funny idea, like, oh, people should just, like, leave a poem in Centennial Park like a medieval decree. And we laughed about it, and I was like, oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Why? The punny name was a joke, too, but Pankovich turned it into an Instagram account. And as the pictures of paintings piled up... At least 822. So did his following. But I did not expect how much support I would get from it, especially people that I didn't even realize knew about it, and how many people have reached out to me to, oh, it really makes my day when I see it downtown. Pankovich cranked out paintings from his living room, posting them to trees for years, until recently when he got a message from Holland's Parks Department. Director Andy Kenyon says it's a graffiti violation. We don't allow anybody to put signs up for lost dogs, for car washes, for um, any, any kind of sale they're having at their home. We don't allow any of that on, on public spaces either, uh, so this falls right into that. In a way, it was a good wake-up call to try to do it more effectively and in a way that's better for, for everyone. He's gotten messages from multiple people asking for paintings, and the Park Theater already hung up two of his works, so he'll make more as long as people will stop and read. Take a minute out of like their daily life and just kind of read some poetry and think about art in a way that they normally wouldn't. In Holland, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.